This is for all you viewers who have been struggling through all of my shaving videos lately, especially you, Steve W. I'm at Ford and Lincoln of Smithtown with my buddy Pete, and we're gonna look at the Mustang Shelby. Good morning, Tony. Uh, good to see you Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Look, Pete, I am sick of being on camera here. I'm gonna go back to shaving. Oh. Hello, my name is Pete Walters. I'd like to welcome you to Ford and Lincoln Mercury of Smithtown. And what we're gonna look at today is the Mustang, and we're gonna focus on the Shelby which is probably my favorite car of our entire fleet. This car right here puts out 526 horsepower, red lines at 8,200 RPM, 8,250 to be precise. This is a 5.2 liter, and it has the honor of having a flat plane crank, which is basically a quicker revving motor. It's a, a real performance car. It comes standard with high performance tires, Z-rated, and Brimbo brakes. And if you look at the size of the front caliper on this car, some cars don't have four calibers that are that large combined. And the rear caliber on this car is bigger than some front calibers on other cars. It also has Brimbo brakes on the rear axle. A lot of high performance cars, when you buy them, the Brimbo brakes are only on the front axle. This on both. We have an active spoiler. It's not here for looks. It actually adds downforce to the back of the car when you hit those top speeds. On the inside of the car, you have your Recaro style seats with the high bolsters, you also notice this car is fitted with an airbag in the Recaro seats from the factory hooked up to work correctly. Now, one of the cool things about these two cars is the key. These are Cobras. They come with the fancy key. The key gives you lock on lock, so you have some luxury features, power trunk release, and a panic alarm. Not that you should panic drive in one of these, but the other great feature of this car <laughs> The flat plane crank has a totally different sound from any eight cylinder out there. It gets that European Ferrari sort of sound. Not that we want to be a Ferrari. We actually just beat them in the 24 hours of Le Mans. Let's take a look under the hood. This is your 5.2 liter V8. They've added to this car the crossbar to give it additional structural support. High speed cornering and whatnot twists the car. So they've added rigidity to the car. It already has a big air cleaner. All this car is really missing right now is a happy home. Look at that. I'm really excited. My man Pete is gonna let me drive. If you don't mind, would you hold that? We'll do, Tony. All right. Okay, so now you gotta step on the clutch. All right. The clutch is the other pedal, Tony. You gotta close your door. Tony, the clutch is the other pedal. Clutch. The wait, pedal, wait, pedal wait, to your wait, left. Wait, 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 wait. Clutch. I can't drive a stick. Oh no, Tony. You can't this drive is, a stick? This is a no, you wouldn't want to trust me to drive this in a stick. Okay. But you guys, if you want to come and drive it and you are manly enough or womanly enough to drive a stick, come see my man Pete and he'll take you on a test drive, right? You will do, Tony. Thank you very much. All right, man. Be good. Thank you. And we'll see you next time with the Raptor. We promise we will bring you the Raptor. Look at that key. Again, I want to thank my buddy Pete for giving us a look at the Mustang Shelby. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep pushing play.